started with better weather than yesterday at the Dynamic Billiard European Championships for men and women wheelchair athletes here in beautiful Kyrenia, North Cyprus. Uh, the wind has come down a little bit, but we did have some stormy matches going on in the morning. First of all, we had the losers qualification round in the women's division and we had a heartbreaker there between Natalie Seichter from the Netherlands and Veronika Hubertova from the Czech Republic. See what happened. Well, actually, Natalie Seichter didn't really make a mistake. The score was 70 to 71. She was trailing one ball and she only needed five more balls and everything looked quite good on the table and she made the 71 to 71 and look, she had no position and um, she could only play a safety shot here, which actually she did. And uh, if you watch closely, the safety shot was not a bad one. She just two shade one ball and left a big problem, as it looked like for her opponent, Hubertova, who uh, then got to the table, had a very close look at the balls. And now look, the four ball was pointing at the pocket. And she saw that and she pocketed the four ball and uh, she ran all balls from there in order to finish the match and defeat Natalie Seichter in this very close, tight match and unlucky ending for the Dutch player with 75 to 71. Other than that, there were not many surprises that happened. Uh, Katarina Polovinchak won 75 over Martine Christiansen from Norway, 75 to 39. The result was the final result and uh, Christiansen was maybe favored in that match, but it uh, turned out to be the other way around. Kristina Slateva from Bulgaria won her match over Vanya Franco from Portugal with 75 to 53. Coming to the men's division, in the same time at 9 o'clock, we had the single elimination the last 64 men standing, and they played a race to 125 now. And there we had the match between the last remaining. Uh, local hero Berk Memetic, the dark horse from Turkish North Cyprus, and Ruslan Chinahov from Russia. This is what happened in that match. Memetic was trailing 20 balls and he had a break shot, which he played quite good, but he did not get too much of a position there. The only ball that he could have a clear shot on was the stripe ball in the side pocket, which he tried to play, but unfortunately for him, he was uh, maybe a bit too fast or too negligent, don't know, but he missed that shot, as you can see. It rattled in the side pocket. That brought Chinohov back to the table, and uh, Chinohov needed 34 more balls, and he took all of them, one after the other, in order to win the match over the last remaining player from Turkish North Cyprus, the host nation, Berk Memecik, with 125 to 77. Shinov will now play in the round of the last 32 players, while Memetic will have to settle for 33rd place in the straight pool individual. And then we came to the round of the last 32 men, and there we had a very, very close match between Sebastian Stab from Germany and Artem Koshevoy from the Ukraine. Stab was already leading 115 to 86 over Koshevoy when the Ukrainian got second life. He even passed Stab and took a 121 to 115 lead and then he tried to bank the six ball in the side pocket and he just missed the six ball. It didn't get in the pocket and it had to be respotted. However, Stab found a way to make a ball from the cluster and he needed nine more balls after that, which he ran and won the match with 125 to 121 over Koshevoy. As you could see, Stab had the better end on his side and uh, ousted Koshevoy very closely. Another match that was not as close was the match between Fabio Petroni from Italy and Nicolas Ottermann from Germany. Here's what happened. It was actually Ottermann who was leading in that match. He was uh, had big time. 56 to 39, but then Petroni ran 49 balls on him to take a 88 to 56 lead. And uh, when the score was 71 to 107 from Ottermann's point of view, this is what happened. Ottermann had a nice break shot there, line up, but he missed it, and that was too much. Petroni got to the table and he only needed 18 more balls, which he got and uh, won the match 125 to 71 over Ottermann. 
In the round of the last 32 men, uh, the defending champion Nick Vandenberg won his match over Aki Heiskanen from Finland, very clearly with 125 to 25 points. Uh, we had Daryl Peach from Great Britain winning his match over Markus Schamat Napoleon from Sweden with 125 to 7 only. So there was not uh, too much Schamat could do to keep uh, Peach away from the table. Albin Ushan had to give in to uh, Tomasz Kaplan from Poland. Kaplan ran 103 balls on Ushan in the early stage of the match and Ushan tried to recover. However, he could come to 60 points, but that's where it ended for him. Kaplan took the match with 125 to 60. Currently, the round of the last 16 players is on in the men's and women's division and we play down to the finals tonight. Women are racing to 75 points, men to 125 points. We will keep you posted as soon as we get more results. Stay with us.